friends, family, and Dave Harris. <laughs> <laughs> Helen and I take great joy today in celebrating the marriage of Emily and Bradley. We are very happy to see so many people and it's heartwarming to see everybody together for such a joyful occasion. After 15 years of marriage and the prospect that our dreams of having our own family may not be fulfilled, or so we thought, along came the wonderful news that Emily was pregnant. Alan, sorry, Alan, 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 Emily, Alan was pregnant. And we were blessed with our beautiful daughter, Emily Suzanne. Her first job was in the women's department at Top Shop in Derby, and it wasn't long before she caught the eye of a young top man, <laughs> sales assistant. <laughs> and this was the start of her first real romance. Four years ago last week, on the 15th of May 2019, I referred to as the best day of my life. I was at Ellen Road when Derby County came from behind to beat Leeds United in the playoff semi-final. After today, I'm not allowed to say that. And to be fair, I don't feel like saying that either because it's been amazing. I feel so lucky to have found a life partner that not only has the same sense of humour as me, but has an inbuilt ability to put others' needs before hers. <laughs> this is truly a rare trait in a person, and I genuinely feel like the luckiest man alive right now. I know how much Emily means to you and Helen, and I promise to always make her top priority and never leave her side. Love is patient. Love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it keeps no record of wrongs. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. And now these three things remain, faith, hope and love, but the greatest of these is love.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, would you please be upstanding for the bride? I, Bradley Shaw and Merrick, take you, Emily Suzanne Kirk, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, to death do us part according to God's holy law. Emily, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage, within the love of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. I, Emily Suzanne Kirk, take you, Bradley Shaw and Merrick, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. Bradley, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage, within the love of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Bradley and Emily have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Should you give them a round of applause? We have loved getting to know Bradley and have enjoyed many holidays and adventures and now a wedding. Who knows what next? Emily and Bradley's relationship has blossomed and matured with age as they have built their life together with Norman the Schnoodle, our grandpa. Helen, can I ask you to join me for this bit, please? Oh, no we are looking forward to seeing where their dreams and ambitions take them and want you both to know Emily that and Bradley, Emily and Bradley, and we, we love, love you very much. much and we'll always be there yeah. for you. As you can all see on your tables, you've got a photo of Brad looking young and freckly and ginger. And if you'd have told me back then that he'd be marrying the gorgeous Emily who looks amazing today, I would have probably first of all thought, how much is Sean paying her? <laughs> but as we've grown up and we've gone through life together, Brad's become an amazing man. And you know, I feel really honored to be here as one of his best men today. You know, a lot of times people say, oh, we're losing a friend when you get married or you meet a girl or whatever. But with Emily, it really did feel, it sounds cheesy, but it really felt like we gained a friend instead. So, so I'd like to raise a toast to Nigel and Helen for raising an amazing person. So there you go. My name's Jono. I've known the couple for as long as they've been together. And yeah, it's been quite nice. Um, it's been all right, yeah. I would just like to say, knowing Brad all these years, I'm absolutely over the moon for him. And I do understand for Nigel and Helen, it must be very hard to pass over something that they've loved for so long. But knowing Brad for so long, I know he's very capable to pass the torch over. 
And as we all know, from a young age, Brad's been focused on fashion all his life. It was a bit like, you know, it got one, but a bit camper, really, from the start. I don't know how else to describe him, but he's always been focused on fashion. He's always had his ankles showing, socks as high as he can. You know him as well as me. That's Brad. A lot has been said about the dodgy fashion, and when he said we were wearing green suits today, I was like, oh shit. But then I knew I'd be stood between Jono and Jordan, and I was like, I'm still gonna look all right. Emily, where do I begin to say how much I love you and how happy I am to call you my wife? Writing this was truly easy because I switched off my brain, which doesn't take a lot, um, and let my heart do the talking. Words cannot describe how beautiful you look today. Oh, Sorry, that sounded really scripted, didn't it? Like, that is what it says, but words can't describe how beautiful you look today. <laughs> I sound really sincere. Just knowing I'm sharing the rest of my life with you uh, makes me feel like I've already succeeded in life. I wrote that from the bottom of my heart, not just on paper. I don't always make the right decisions in life and sometimes get things wrong. But one thing I know for sure, marrying you is in that category. Sorry, not in that category. Uh, I, <laughs> that one was scripted. I have wrote that down as well. We've come a long way together after eight and a half years and had some challenging times, but I feel we've taught each other so much along the way. No relationship is easy and there will always be challenges waiting for us. But I can honestly say with confidence, as long as we face them together, we can truly do anything. Now, I ask you to all stand and raise a glass to the love of my life, to Emily. Still the best is yet to come